What is up everybody, Slayer back with you and today we're going to be talking about a very cool phone that was sent out to me from ZTE and that's the Axon. And what they're claiming with this phone is they took all of what people have been wanting from a smartphone and packed it into a very affordable and very high quality package. So I'm not going to do the typical full review, I'm going to give you the highlights of what I enjoyed the most about this phone over the past month since I've had it. And the first thing that jumps out to me and I'm sure anybody that looks at this phone is the design. On the right hand side you have the power button and a dedicated shutter button for the camera. On the left you have a volume up and down and a sim card tray and it's just fantastic to feel the aluminum in your hand feels great. You can see on the back you have the dual cameras, dual LED flash, and then this pattern in between that follows around to the front at the top and the bottom. It has a front facing speaker at the bottom. It has an eight megapixel camera on the front. On the bottom you see that circle, it actually pulses when you have notifications. And then it's flanked by two dots which are programmable for back button and recently used apps button. So up next would be the camera. The camera is really, really good. On the back, like I said, you have the dual cameras, 13 megapixel on the bottom and then a 2 megapixel on the top, which is for depth sensing. But this thing has a 1.8 aperture, which is fantastic, but it has an adjustment to where you can get to f1.0 in the bokeh setting on the phone. Auto works fantastic. I really don't go outside of auto, but you do have manual. You have uh, multiple exposure, which you can stitch a couple pictures together. Panoramic, sport, slow motion. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of options in here if you want to do that. But just sticking to auto, I don't think you would be disappointed at all with the quality of these photos. You also have some uh, different effects that you can see live. You got a fisheye, mirror, mono, comic, just some things to enhance your photos. Then you also have your video and then you have your settings and in your settings you have the ability to adjust to record in 4K. I don't usually go above 1080 when it comes to my phones but that's just me. You also have HDR off to the side and a timer. Front facing camera you can see there you're getting a lot in the shot. It's an 88 degree wide angle front camera so you know this is a $450 phone off contract so what you're getting the build quality in the camera alone up to this point are just amazing and fantastic. And here I'll give you some sample pictures from this phone that I've shot so far. Now a few other things that are pretty high up on the cool list is you have Dolby Audio. Now you can adjust this whether you're watching a movie, music, playing a game. It'll actually change the front facing speaker to give you more of enhanced sound and it also works with your headphones. There's also built in themes, there's effects to change the way the pages transition. Uh, there's a lot of customization in here. You can customize the quick toggles on your drop down menu. So that's going to be about it guys. As you can tell, I'm a fan of the Axon. Let me know your favorite feature down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, make sure you slap that subscribe button down below and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.